Salam, salam, yo, we're back again today, and today we'll be talking about an Ethiopian singer, a very famous man, a lot of people know him, but if you don't know him, yo, you're going to know him today, and today we'll be talking about a Ethiopian singer that I love so much that I need to speak about, right? So today we'll be talking about Tiwodros Kassan, also known as Teddy Afro, and he is a famous, iconic Ethiopian pop star. Teddy Afro is known as Ethiopia's Bob Marley thanks to his occasional uh, socio-political lyrics and his frequent use of roots reggae rhythms. He sings about history, co uh, culture, equality, justice, and unity, and political changes as well, and he calls himself a man of freedom. He has attracted millions uh, of fans worldwide, but he also has created enemies as well. And this is due to the subjects of choice in which he chooses to sing about. Teddy Afro was born in Addis Ababa uh, on July 14, 1976, and his father, Kasahun Gromamo, uh, was a famous songwriter, and while his mother, Tia Argi, was a dancer professionally. Now, in Teddy Afro's earlier age, he wrote poetry especially for his mother and expressed interest in art and art in general. We must also note that even though uh, both of Teddy Afro's parents were in the entertainment industry, they did not want him to be in it and discouraged him about making it a career um, in his life. Teddy Afro went for his dream though. He did not listen to his parents because he wanted it so bad in being around uh, musical people and families. It was something that was ingrained in him and signed with an Ethiopian record label in 2001. The most famous pop star has released many albums such as Abu Gita and Ta Kur Saw. Now the famous pop star has released many albums such as Abu Gita and Tu Kur Saw. Tu Kur Saw which means black person smashed Ethiopian sales and is on pace to become the best album of all time in Ethiopia. This song also praises Ethiopian Emperor Menelik II as a hero of all African people around the world. Teddy Afro's career has not been all peaches and roses though, in peaches and cream, right? Um, in 2005, some of Teddy's songs were banned by the government, and in 2006, it is said that Teddy was involved in a drunk driving accident, where the singer killed a person with his BMW. In 2008, he was then sentenced to six years in prison and fined 180,000 burr, or $1,800 in dollars. Teddy Afro maintained that he was innocent and that the government put him there because of his political criticism of them. Some state that Teddy Afro's arrest was politically motivated and that he was of national interest. And that's why they locked him up, the government locked him up. Teddy Afro spent two years in prison and after serving that time, he was released and his release was due to external pressures on the government and good behavior. While Teddy Afro had to put his life on hold in prison, he did not slow down after he was released though. In 2012, Teddy Afro married his girlfriend, Amlaset Mugi, and Amlaset Mugi was 25 at the time and was a former beauty pageant contestant. She was also raised and born in Addis Ababa and also has starred in numerous Ethiopian films. They are loved by millions and many believe that they are a super couple. Teddy Afro's career also skyrocketed throughout the years, but his father never witnessed this uh, success and his success due to him, his father passing away. Teddy Afro created a tribute song though to his father called Music My Life, in which Teddy tells his father that he will live through in his music forever. Teddy Afro is an icon singer who has captured the hearts of millions around the world. He writes his own lyrics, sings, and performs his music worldwide. Teddy Afro has toured from South Africa to North Africa, the Middle East, and Australia, and he's crisscrossed the world to entertain and convey messages of peace, love, hope, unity, and a language almost anyone can understand. And today, that is a piece about Teddy Afro. I love Teddy Afro. I listen to his music all the time, a lot. When I was turned on to him, you know, one of the reasons I think I was turned on to him is because I listened to a lot of reggae. So when I heard his more reggae-ish uh, type music, when he made his uh, certain musics that sound more reggae-ish, 
I, it really attracted me and I heard a lot of Ethiopian people that told me before to just listen to him in general so I love Teddy Afro he's amazing uh, you know has amazing story of the certain things that he went through in his life he's been to America around the world uh, to South Africa like I stated to been to a lot of different places and he's adored by uh, Ethiopians all over the world and other people that are not Ethiopian all over the world a lot of people of African descent as well so today we talked about Teddy Afro yo as always like I always say yo stick together always learn always pass the knowledge spread the knowledge and understand that we are all in this together and no bickering as least as possible right no bickering and try to promote positive vibes right positivity connected right connect unity that's what we need to promote so as always yo what else is there? I'm out. One love. Peace. What's up? What's up? Hey! Shalom! What up? Hi! Hi! Hi. 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 Hi.